Hi, welcome back to the Finite Math Podcast. In the last two videos, we've looked at using Excel to compute the future value of an account that was being compounded. Uh, this is an example of what we had here. Uh, today, I want to illustrate how to use the basic compound template to solve for initial parameters when the future value is known. In other words, we like to solve for one of these values up here when we know the future value. Okay, here's a sample problem. Uh, supposing we have a certificate of deposit that promises to pay us $6,000 after two years for a $5,000 deposit. In other words, we deposit $5,000. In two years, the bank will give us $1,000 in addition to our initial deposit. So what we would like to do is to find uh, the compounding annual growth rate, known as the CAGR. Uh, in other words, we want to find the rate per year here. Uh, that would end up for a deposit of $5,000, give us a future value of uh, $6,000. Now, let's make it a little more complicated. Supposing the interest is going to be compounded uh, daily, so we can change our uh, periods a year, compounding periods to 365. Okay, so uh, here is the template. Now, what we do not want to do is to change the future value amount to $6,000 directly. Now, there's two ways to solve this type of setup. One uses what's called goal C, and the other uses the solver. Okay, so let's look at goal C. Well, goal C is a tool is listed under tools. It's one of the items in the tool menu. So if I click Goal Seek, well, here's the little template, the little dialog box that comes up. It says set the cell and uh, to a certain value. Okay, we want to set the future value cell to the value of, what was it, $6,000. Okay, and we want that to occur by changing what cell. Well, we want to define the growth rate, the rate per period. So that cell would have to be the uh, rate per year cell. And we click OK, and what it does is it goes through and uh, does a little what if thing to calculate what our interest rate is going to be. And so click OK, and we see that it's going to be basically 9.12%. A pretty good uh, return on your investment. Okay, that's using the goal seek. Now let's see how to do this using solver. Let me reset this back to say 6% just so we don't make it easy for the computer. All right, now uh, let's go and look for the solver tool. Well, solver is again an item that's listed under the tools menu. Now, it may be it's not in your tools menu, in which case you would have to go to add-ins and make sure you uh, check the box that says solver add-in, and then it will uh, appear in the, uh, the menu here. So if we go and select solver, we get a different kind of uh, a dialog box. Now, solver is a much more powerful than the goal seek. Uh, now, but it operates in much the same way. The first line says you want to set the target cell. Well, in our problem, the target was going to be the future value down here. And we wanted that target to be equal to. So I want to make sure I click the equal to the value of. And we wanted to make that 6,000. OK. And by changing, so we click down here. And we want to change the rate per year. That's what we wanted to do. Tell us to solve. It says, well, we found a solution. Do you want to keep it? Yeah. And you see it's going to be the same 9.12% was the growth rate that we found. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.